I truly believe it's just a matter of time. It's more how do we expedite this movement? I think it's inevitable that people are going to recognize this as a valid form of treatment, but it's just trying, recognizing the urgency. There are literally lives at stake right now, as we know, with the suicide rates, one in five people in the U.S. suffering with a mental illness. There's a lot of people who can't afford to wait. So I think we're just doing everything we can to figure out how to amplify this message and reach as many as po people as possible with hope as quickly as possible. Yeah. Well, on that note of urgency, as much as I do not want to ask you this question to close out, I think it's really important. And I, I don't believe you got this letter personally, but I think the group got the letter from somebody who wrote in about their son um, and, and the mom encouraging you and the work that you guys do. I'm probably going to get a little emotional here, but would you mind sharing um, the contents of that letter? Yeah, um, I, I get emotional every time I think about this as well. And actually, very soon, I'm going to meet with Julie King in person. Wow. Um, we've connected virtually. That's the mother of Andrew King. And um, she's just a phenomenal person. Um, to think about someone who has to face such deep grief, and she lost her son, Andrew, who was an absolutely incredible person in the contents of the letter, you know, she linked to his obituary, obituary and talked about the kind of young man that he was. He was incredibly intelligent. He almost got a perfect score on his SATs and he was a volunteer for Habitat for Humanity, the kind of person who just wanted to help others, a very sensitive person, um, was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. And I think the really tragic thing to me is that he had started on the path to do metabolic therapies, but couldn't, you know, there's a whole thing that I cannot get into about all the way that his medication was mishandled and some of the medications that he was on. And he didn't get a chance to get on this path to remission and ended up dying by suicide. And I think what's so heartbreaking about it is, you know, of course, for anybody to lose a loved one like that is a grief and pain you can't even imagine, you know, the loss to his family, the incredible person that he was, but also all that he could have offered the world that's lost to us now. You know, and that he could have had hope and he just didn't have the support in place and I think it's just he was so close you know and I think I think in a few years I'm going to do everything I can I know Bazooki Group Metabolic Mind we're going to do everything we can Chris Dr. Chris Palmer is going to do everything he can we want to change this so that people can find the help that they need but he was a few you know years behind in that and it's it's too late. Well, I really appreciate you sharing that story. And, and I know it's not very pleasant to talk about and is highly emotional, but that's how important this message is. And I'm so grateful for you and for your journey and everything that you've gone through and that you've dedicated literally your life to now getting that message out. And I'm just so grateful for people like Chris Palmer and Dr. Georgia Eade and uh, the Bazuki family and all these people who are, um, you know, changing the conversation out there because you're right. Like, if you want to wait around for the randomized controlled trials, it's going to be a while and there's going to be a lot of suffering and death until then. And this is something that, again, people can try and you've made it really practical and gave us a lot of really great information. So thank you, Hannah, so very much for sharing your story. Thank you for coming on today, explaining some of the science behind metabolic therapies for mental health. Where would you like people to go to find you to connect with you and your work? Yeah, thank you so much for having me on and helping to spread the spread awareness, spread the word about metabolic therapies that means so much to us and really is going to change lives. So people can find more information at metabolicmind.org. We have a lot of resources there for patients, families, and clinicians. And we actually just uh, launched an updated website as well, which if you're a fan of beautiful branding like I am, you'll like it because it's very fresh, rejuvenating light colors and feels very hopeful, hopeful just like our mission.